here from Greenlight Bites, and I'm with my co-host, Evan, <laughs> who is enjoying his breakfast of banana cereal and egg, which he actually hasn't eaten yet because it's cooling, but that's why I'm here today is to talk about eggs. Yet again, I feel like all of my, pre my recent videos have been egg-based. Um, here, buddy, you want some egg? There you go. Okay. He's been waiting for us to cool for some time. Okay, anyway. Um, a few days ago or a week ago, I, I was in one of those breakfast moods where I was really hungry. I came back from a workout, which is actually why I'm dressed this way, because I just got back from my workout. And I knew I needed to eat, and I wanted to eat, and I was hungry, but I just didn't have any motivation to cook or do anything, or what, I just didn't feel like... It's like when you ever get into those moods where you want to eat, but you're not sure what you want. I'm sorry, but here you go. Um... So anyway, I finally tried the famous, I'm calling it famous, I'm assuming it's famous, egg in a mug in the microwave. And I thought, screw it, let me just give it a try. And I was actually quite surprised how it came out. It came out really, really good. So I thought I would share what I did, and then in hopes that you, if you haven't given it a try, that you would. And this is a great way to get some protein in the morning. All those people who say you don't have time to make breakfast, but yet you have time to go through a drive through Maybe this will sway your decision. I just gave you all your egg. Here's all your egg on your tray, mister. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use two eggs for myself. You can use one egg, one egg white. You can use all egg white. It doesn't really matter. I'm just really, this one won't open. I'm just really, really into eggs right now. Um, I mean, like a full egg. I used to do the, the all egg white. I used to do the one egg, one egg white. Um, I'm really, really working out a lot and training, so I'm thinking the whole egg is fine for me. All right, so into that, I'm gonna add some bacon bits. And this is how I get my bacon fix without um, having to fry up bacon, or even with less fat. I think like one serving of these is about 25, 30 calories. And it really does give you that bacon taste without all the extra, extra fat of bacon. You only need a little, little bit. I'm also gonna add up some diced peppers. Um, Oh, that was my banana knife. I'm like wondering what's on my knife, but I used it to cut banana for the baby. <laughs> All right, so I am gonna uh, just do a couple diced peppers right in. And I'm purposely showing you kind of how I do this like without everything prepared because I generally do have a pepper in my fridge just like this where I, that I hack at all week. I'll use it up for some omelets. I'll make some strips and give it to the kids for lunch or whatever. Um, and I, I just wash it at the beginning of the week and I keep it whole. I know some people like to prep their peppers and their vegetables and stuff like that. I find that the vegetable stays fresher longer when you leave it in as whole of a form as possible. So I just leave it cut from what I want, throw it in a little plastic baggie or a Tupperware dish and just pull out it, you know, pull it out when I want. So I put some pepper in there. I'm also going to put in my trusty spinach. I should have had this open though. <laughs> I, uh, those of you who have been watching or reading Greenlight Bites for some time know that I'm like a spinach fanatic. Like, I never not have a bag of spinach in my fridge, and when I don't, I feel a little lost, because I, I use it like lettuce. It's just my lettuce. I use it in smoothies, I use it in eggs, I use it on sandwiches, I use it in wraps, I use it as a base for, um, chilies. I, I mean, I just, I use it daily. So, I just take a wad, and then I just kind of cut it, because you don't want big leaves in your um, eggs. You, you know, it just, then it comes yeah, out weird and stringy. Yeah. I know, you want to, you want to, you want a leaf of spinach? I'll give you some spinach. Yeah. I always give, I did the same thing with Ryan, I always give them whatever I'm working on. Like this, see the leaf? It's pretty cool, isn't it? I'm going to give you a bigger one. Hold on. All right, so I put that in there. Right now, my mug is really full. Here, here's some spinach leaves. <laughs> and here's some more of your egg. I didn't realize I thought I gave it to you. There you go. All right, so my mug is really full. I don't know if you can see. See? <laughs> so I'm just going to really mix it up. Um, I should have had this ready. Sorry, but a pinch of salt and some pepper. I had the electric pepper one, you guys might remember, but uh, the, ran out of batteries and I've been too lazy to put batteries in it. Alright, I'm going to just whip it up. And it just looks like a globby egg of vegetable mess. <laughs> it really does. I'll come show it to you. 
I'm, I'm also recording this on a new camera, so I it might be all off. I'm not sure. All right. All right. I don't know. If you can see this, that is what it looks like. And I'm going to pop it in the microwave for one minute. Okay. Minute's up. Just beeped. All right. Here we go. And it looks kind of weird. It's not done yet, I might say. So it's kind of partially cooked. Um, the top is cooked, but there's a lot of raw egg in the bottom. So now what I did or do is I flip it, flip it. And then that raw part is now on the top. I can't get it flipped. There we are. <laughs> so now the raw part is on the flop and I'm popping. Let me say that again. The raw part is on the top and now I'm going to put it back in the microwave for like 45 seconds. Okay. Um, you could do a full minute, but what I found, let me do this dark. Um, when I found when I did another full minute, it became, the eggs were a little tough, so I'm going to do 45 minutes. You can always start 30 seconds, and then if it needs a couple more um, seconds, always, you know, the less time the better, because you can always add more time. Once you brought the egg the point past the point of no return, then uh, you're stuck and you just wasted two eggs because you've made them into rubber. <laughs> so, I will be back. Oh no, no, it's 19 seconds. We gotta wait. <laughs> we'll just wait the 19 seconds out and we may get a four. It's gonna come out really hot. How are you doing, buddy? What are you eating over here? I'm kind of ignoring you as I do the video. You didn't eat your banana? You gotta eat your banana. Every morning for breakfast, mostly, he has cereal, banana, and egg. It's about the only things he'll consistently eat. And the banana is a little iffy. <laughs> Alright, so that was 45 seconds. You'll see my egg. And how cool is that? It's so cool. Um, let me feel it and make sure it's done to my specifications because I'm one of those people that can't handle raw egg. I mean, I could. Oh, yeah, no, it's perfect. So it's going to start to deflate a little bit. It will deflate. But it's actually all I smell is bacon and eggs, just like you would a traditional breakfast. Um, and it's all done. So now here was what I do. And I know people either, again, these people either find this gross or go, oh yeah, I can't eat eggs without ketchup. I cannot eat eggs without ketchup. So I just go like this. <laughs> I just put a little ketchup kind of right on top. Do -do -do -do. Drip it all over my counter. Mm -hmm. And then I just kind of chunk pieces off right out of the mug while I'm doing all my normal morning routine. It's really hot. I want to taste test it, but... Give me a second. <laughs> ah. Mmm, I got bacon in there. <laughs> bacon, pepper, egg. It's perfect, and it literally takes two minutes. Throw the two eggs in with whatever fillings you want. I can see cheese. I'm not a cheese egg person, but a little cheese, maybe some feta, something like that. Whip it up, microwave in a minute, flip it over, microwave another 45 seconds, and breakfast is done. I mean, there's no excuse not to eat breakfast. <laughs> All right, so, oh, you're doing that pepper? Oh, yummy, yummy pepper. You want to feed it to me? <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. We're going to go. <laughs> I'm going to finish my A. Um, we have a big day plan. i got to make sauce, and it's Easter weekend, and I just wanted to share this idea really, really quick. And I hope um, you give it a try, and let me know in the comments how it turns out. All right. Bye, guys. Have a great weekend.